I've been out of town the past few days and it's been almost exactly a week since I last mowed and you can really tell that the grass is just super overgrown. It's interesting when you leave and you come back and you just you see things that maybe you were just ignoring or didn't realize when before you left um, but there are a couple of problem areas that I want to tackle today and with temperatures really coming up and we're getting into the real heat of summer I want to go ahead and make sure that I'm doing things for the lawn to help it um, get through that summer without stressing too much. I am still seeing some heat stressed areas in the lawn and there's two products that I'm going to put down today to go ahead and take care of that. But before I do anything, I'm going to mow. So as far as the front yard goes, uh, this corner here, you can see is a little darker and up the side a little bit. This area is stressing out a little bit. And then opposite corner over there is getting some stress. And then right behind this tree here in this area is getting some stress too. Here's backyard, some spots back over here and here, and then down this little line here, there's some spots, just heat stressed, that I've been just watering, um, usually uh, late afternoon, early evening, once temperatures start coming down, I'll just get my sprinkler and take run the hose out there and connect it and just water it for a few minutes each. And that seems to be helping a little bit, but it needs a little more. And then there's this. This is one of the first things that I noticed when I came back from my trip. Uh, it just looks like something was just laid here on the grass for a couple days. And yeah, and there's, there's still some green in here, so I think it's gonna be okay. Um, just getting some water, it just feels really dry, but it should recover, I think, in a few days or so. All right, so today what I'm gonna do to uh, combat this heat stress a little bit in the yard is go ahead and put down some granular humate or humic acid. This has humic acid, it has fulvic acid, and it has bonus products in it. It has sulfur and it has iron in it. So I do expect to not only uh, condition the soil, but I expect a color response too, which will be pretty nice. Um, I haven't used a granular um, humic product before. I've just been using the products from Green County and those work great. There's nothing wrong with those. This is a local product and it's something that I haven't used before and I'd like to use it. And I know that I know some other people who have used it and they say that it's a great product. I like the added bonus of the iron in there and that's really gonna hopefully give a nice little uh, color response. I don't wanna push a whole lot of nitrogen right now um, especially coming into summer. Um, I do have the 4th of July application coming up. I'm gonna put down some nitrogen then, but other than that, I'd really like to stay off of the nitrogen through the, the, the peak summer months. So yes, like I said, this is a local product. It's, it's actually mined out of uh, right here in Utah, and it does have humic and fulvic acids, um, and it does have sulfur and iron, um, one and a half percent each and this says that we're gonna be putting this down at 10 pounds per thousand. Uh, these are 50 pound bags. So I've got three of them and 
I'm not worried about anything. I, this is probably a little more than I need, but that's okay. I'm gonna put all of them across the whole yard here. And then when I'm done with that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this product for the first time as well. This is Hydrotain. And if you haven't heard of Hydrotain before, Hydrotain is a product that will help keep moisture and keep water within the root zone so that you essentially don't have to water as much. Um, Alan Hain has done great demonstrations with this. He recently did one. Um, I'll go ahead and link to that in his, in his video. Um, he did it on some potted plants and you could see a huge difference and it, it really, the results speak for themselves. This is not a cheap product. This is rather expensive. Um, I think they go for about 40 bucks a bottle. Yeah, so this is a 32 ounce bottle, covers 5,000 square feet. And like I said, not a cheap product. This is not gonna cover my whole yard. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and um, spot treat the heat stressed areas. And there's a couple in my front yard that I've shown you and you've seen what's in my backyard. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and just spot spray this on those areas, uh, just so that the moisture can be retained in those areas better. And over time, um, I, I hope that um, I'll be able to see results. I'll be able to see green color coming back in those areas. The, the hazy colors will start to go away and, and things will just start getting back to the way that I want them to. So I'm excited to try this. I've been wanting to try it for a long time. Um, finally got some and yeah, like I said, I'd, I'd, I'd ideally like to do the whole yard with this and just put it everywhere, but um, the bottles are expensive and um, this is the only one I have right now. So I'm just gonna spot treat for now and then hopefully later on I'll be able to get some more. Another thing I gotta do is fix the handle on my Earthway spreader. The grip is just coming apart here. Wear and tear, right? mechanism to turn the water on and off on this thing is broken. It doesn't work. When I pull this back to on, at first it started and it was working fine, but then after that it just stopped. I don't know if something was wrong with the track inside or what, but I accidentally pushed this whole this whole mechanism out of here and water and product went everywhere and all over me. So I'm kind of upset that some of that product was wasted. <laughs> that's going to go ahead and wrap things up for me here today. The instructions on the Hydrotain did say to put, um, after you put the product down, to water it in a quarter inch to a half inch. So I'm going to go ahead and run my sprinklers here for a while and get that product down into the soil so that I can start working because I need it to start working. So with that, thanks for watching. Stick around, subscribe to see results, and I will see you in the next video.